welcome. Thanks for joining us. MLB The Show with a good one coming at you. It's the Los Angeles Angels taking on the Baltimore Orioles. First pitch coming your way next. Almost ready to get underway. Starting on the mound in this one, Corbin Burns. The spin rate on the curveball is incredible. Hitters know they're going to see a lot of them today. Stay back, be patient, and hit the ball the other way. Luis Renjifo gets a chance to hit here. Line drive. Come on. All right, let's take a look at the Angels lineup. The sluggers in this lineup might not be too happy about the fact that the wind is blowing in today, Chris. Yeah, and you hear pitchers talk about how good it feels when the wind is at their back. And for hitters, you almost feel like beyond just the pitcher coming at you, you've got this other force coming against you. So important to try to get on top of the ball in terms of hitting line drives, you know, maybe really hard ground balls with a good exit velocity that'll get you a base hit because it's very frustrating you just hit one on the screws, think it's going to go out of the ballpark, and a guy is camped underneath it in front of the warning track. Two outs, base is empty. Brandon Drury to the plate. Two down, nobody on. 3 oh, 1, and he couldn't come up with it. One of the things about that two out walk, the base runner over at first base is going to have a very aggressive secondary lead. So, a ball down the line or an end of the gap will produce a two out RBI, and those oh. are the best. That is, if you are the offensive side of it. Wouldn't oh. chase that time. First pitch strike from the pitcher, but then no panic at all by the hitter. Very patient, showing good discipline. Now he's in the driver's seat with a 3-1 count. Two outs. And a foul ball. Great RBI spot here. Just got to stay focused on the pitch. The runner will be in motion, so something in the gap should definitely score it. Right side, hard hit. On to O'Hearn. And that is that. Angels strand one. And now the O's will get their first crack at it. No score. Back after this on the show. Back here with my pal Ziggy. And on the hill here today, Reed Detmers. What should we keep an eye on here? It's always interesting to see how he utilizes all of his pitches and how many of those he has a good feel for on that given day. When he's right, he's really able to keep hitters guessing, and all of his stuff seems to be coming out of the same arm slot, the same tunnel, and that can make life very difficult on his opponents. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And into the box for Baltimore, Gunnar Henderson. Oh. And another ball. Left-hand hitter waits. Popped up. Shanowell settles under this one. Hauls it in for the out. Time now to take a look at the Orioles lineup put together by manager Brandon Hyde. And the key to victory for them here, get their starters some run support early. Boog, if they can get him that run support early, it's likely the other team folds because they know how dominant he can be once he gets settled in. So put pressure on that other team right away, jump out to a lead early, and a few runs is going to feel like 30. This guy at the dish excels in two strike counts. Got to be careful with him out there on the mound. The next offering misses. Two balls, two strikes. Well, he's not afraid to fall into a two-strike count. Knows the strike zone very well, so much so that I think umpires will look at him and determine oh, whether it's a ball three. or strike, if he swings or not. That one, 95 to finish him off. Anthony Santander at the plate. But why to kick the pitch? And that's too high, too high ball first. four. Now, this was a story we were paying attention to before the game. We've seen him give up walks in the past, and it's an issue once again early on. Two outs, runner at first. So now the Orioles' cleanup hitter, Ryan O'Hearn. Nice grab on the run. And that is the third out of the inning. And the Orioles leave one, scoreless after one. Top of the second, and now the veteran third baseman, Anthony Rendon. And he deals. 
Next offering popped in the air, right field. Santander drifts towards it. Drops into the glove. And a quick out number one. And the batter now, Mickey Moniak. One down, base is empty. Swing and a ball popped up under it. And there's two down. Logan Ohapi, the next to hit. Two out, space is empty. Struck him out. Really fooled him with the breaking ball there. And the Angels are gone in order. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. And that one is lifted in the air. Ward running hard to get it. He's got it. And there's one away. Here's Ryan Mountcastle. Ball to strike. The pitch. And he hits a ground ball right side. Out on the off-balance throw. So up next, Austin Hayes. The wind of the pitch. Left field, Moniak settles underneath it, and that's the third out. So no runs, no hits, no errors, and no one left. We play two full, no score. And welcome back to the ballpark. Now it's the rookie first baseman, Nolan Shonowell. 2-1 now. And that one hit 97 on the gun. He deals. This ball's chopped on the ground. Westberg tosses to first. Leadoff man retired here in the third. So digging in, Zach Neto. Oh. And that's outside. And a count two and one. Two ball, one strike. Base hit. So a man aboard now with one away. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on the line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. So in now for the Angels, Luis Rangifo. Burns with a move to first, he's and he's back in safely. Burns, like a lot of guys in the majors, played several sports growing up. He was a really good football player in high school, actually, which makes sense when you look at his build. But now this ball is well hit. This one's got a chance. Grabs it right up against the wall. That's a really nice job right there. Great awareness making the catch up against the wall. You see the perfect technique. Feeling for the wall with the bare hand while keeping his eyes on the baseball as it's coming down. His glove in a good position to make the catch. That's exactly how you do it. Now Trout gets a chance to hit. Drill to right. Way back there. And that is gone. Just like that, they move in front. It's 2-0. That's a fun way to take the lead. Just hit one out of the park.
there was a cutter away. Kind of works like a slider. You've got to stay on it, let it travel a little bit, and then get your arms extended. Really good piece of hitting right there. And now the DH, Brandon Drury. Eighth pitch of the at-bat coming up. Second walk of the game for him, and he's been really patient at the play, the game plan that he's sticking to. He's just not going outside of what he's looking for up there. And now, Taylor Ward. That one ripped. That's back. It bangs off the wall. Coming home. He'll score easily, and they're up by three. Well, patience and discipline paid off right there as he got into an advantage count. Absolutely blasted that one into the gap, but just didn't have quite enough to clear the wall out there. Maybe a little more elevation under it, and it carries over, but that's a swing you'll be happy with every time. Anthony Rendon making his way to the plate. Swings and misses. And the count one and two. Already three runs across in the frame. We're here in the top half of inning number three. Fights that one away. Still one and two. And another ball. He's been trying to tease the zone with that slider, but these hitters have showed patience not going outside the strike zone. Comes a 2-2. Gets a piece and stays alive. Man on second, two down. Got yes. it. Good job at damage control right there. Three runs for them here, and they move ahead. We move on to the bottom of inning number three. It's the Angels three and the Orioles nothing. Back now at Oriole Park, and stepping in is the speedy Jorge Mateo. And a breaking ball drops in for a strike. Well, after scoring runs, this is where you're looking for that shutdown inning. Get that hot team back in there to swing the bats. This one popped up. Ring Ifo under it. Puts it away for the out. One down. Jordan Westberg, the next to hit for the Orioles. Wouldn't well, chase that time. Two balls and a strike. Here it comes. Ball Misses three. just off the outside edge. I think that was a strike. Well, Siggy here in Baltimore and uh, crab cakes. We need to get our hands on some crab cakes. You think we'll get someone to maybe run down for us and, and grab a few? Absolutely. It's got to happen. Maryland crab cakes, the best. And you talk about the seasoning nobody does it better than the people here in the city of baltimore but even so here at the ballpark some great food on the ground out to short tosses to first and two straight set down to begin the bottom of the third yeah and i'm kind of partial to my guy boo down there over that right field wall and uh, some barbecue because Boo can fire up some pretty good barbecue. Yeah, and I'm surprised we haven't seen any of that yet up here in the booth. Come on, man, let's go. Center field. Trout settles under it. And that is that.
new inning getting started. So in now for the Angels, Mickey Moniak. Left-hand batter waits. And that one is lifted in the air. Hayes ranging after it. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. One away. And now it's going to be Logan O'Hoppy. Next offering clips the zone count even at two. Two ball, two strikes. One down, base is empty. Still two and two after the foul ball. That's foul off to the right side. Keeps the A.B. going. Puts it in the air out towards left center. Mullins pulls it in on the run. Every day during batting practice, these outfielders get about 10 minutes of balls in the gaps. They practice this, and when the game comes, they make the play perfectly. Now, Nolan Shonowell swinging a foul straight back. We used to look at the, sky. the pitch. At the and another ball. Recognize that changeup right out of the hand. Just spit on it. Two down, nobody on. Top half of inning number four. It's softly on the ground, left side. And it's off the bag. And no throw for some reason as he reaches first. That's got to be an error. Hey, whatever works, right? Doesn't have to be impressive. That pitch got way in on him, and he couldn't do much with it, but good hustle to get up the line and turn that into an infield single. So two down, and next for the Angels, Zach Neto. Shanowell off the first with two away. Misses. Yeah. And that's ball three. Three, two, two out, runner on first. A lot of movement in the infield. Hitter's got to stay focused oh, on the pitch. Boy, outside, outside and that is ball four. Not what he wanted to do right there, Boo. That keeps this inning alive, puts a runner in the scoring position, and a chance for this offense to add on to their lead. And here is Luis Rangifo. Base knock center field. Headed for the plate. He scores, and they lead by four. Oh, here we are, third time through the order, and this is where we see the OPS jump up. Manager might have to go to the bullpen a little bit sooner than he anticipated. Here's Mike Trout. And a curve misses outside. You won. Well, just about to hit that century mark. A hundred pitches for this game. That's oh, down no. and in. Movement in the bullpen. Tyler Wells is up and throwing for Brandon High. Two on, two outs. To third, Henderson. That ends the inning and stops things from getting out of hand. But they pick up one run on the RBI single. It's now a 4 nothing ball game. You're watching Major League Baseball exclusively on the show. And we're back. And now the switch hitting catcher, Adley Rutschman. Yep. And that drops in for a strike. Missing inside, and the count's full. Now in this three-ball count, down in the ballgame, you've got to be very selective 
Take your walk if they'll give it to you. This one high in the air to left center. Trout brings it in with a nice run and grab. And now Anthony Santander is a 1-1. And that one fouled off. The Orioles yet to pick up a hit here. They tried to get him to chase on a slider down and away. Next Look offering down. upstairs. Way to lay off that fastball up right there. You're looking for something you see well that you can handle, but you also have to keep the discipline so that you're not popping up pitches that are just a little too high. The punch out there and two away now. Well, he froze him with a great fastball right on the corner. It's kind of like bowling when you think the ball's going to get into the gutter and somehow it just hangs onto that edge and knocks down a pin. Well, he got the outside corner of the plate and got that call third strike. Two outs, base is empty. And next will be the cleanup hitter, Ryan O'Hearn. Just three. missed. Three ball, one strike. Three one is on the way. Two. And strike two. Full count. Swing and a miss. Got him to go up the ladder for the K. Nothing doing this time around for the O's. They're down four nothing. here in Baltimore. We go to the top of the fifth. Now it's the DH, Brandon Drury. That one hit to right. And there's one down. And now the right fielder, Taylor Ward. And a pitch. And another ball. Lifted in the air, right center field. Santander drifts towards it. Two down. Two outs, base is empty. Here's Anthony Rendon up to the plate. Two down, nobody on. And we're at the top of the fifth. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And good work there as he gets a 1-2-3. Angels go quietly there, but they lead it 4 to nothing. Bottom of the inning. Here's the center fielder, Cedric Mullins. start the inning. Everything came together for him. That's about as textbook as it gets. Got his stride and load out of the way early. He stayed inside that ball and squared it up out front. Man, that was like he was in the cage hitting off a tee. Next to him, oh. Ryan Mountcastle. You know, these Orioles did a great job, Boog, of just waiting for the right pitch to come their way, and I'm seeing very patient at-bats out of them. The starter's pitch count is high because they've worked the count full against him five different times. Their pitch selection's been off the charts today. That one fouled off. Mullins gets his lead at first with nobody out. 
fouled off again, and it remains three and two. And a pitch. On the ground to third. This looks like extra bases. Lead runner around second. Throw comes in. Runner stopped. Second and third. Nobody out. And he's got a double. Back-to-back -back base hits. Turned on it nicely. Definitely a little out in front of the pitch, but he didn't hook around it too much and was able to keep it fair down the line. Here's the left fielder, Austin Hayes. And now the lefty. Right through there for a strike. Two two. Hayes tries to hold up, appeal to first. Yes, he did. That's a swing. Jorge Mateo, the next to hit for the Orioles. Got him to chase one upstairs there. One ball, two strikes. Hard ground ball faced now. One run is in, fires it to the plate. He's in there. And it's now a two run game. Gets the job done as he brings home a pair. Really nice job staying up the middle with his approach. He didn't try to do too much with the pitch, just shot it through the infield. And now a chance to maybe get creative on offense with good speed on first. Man at first with one gone. Jordan Westberg, the next to hit for the Orioles. And the pitch. Rudder takes Two off. Boys. Pitch misses inside. Throw hey. safe. Singy, he definitely showed off the wheels there. Yeah, and it turned out to be a bang-bang play. StatCast gives us the data, and that stolen base was impossible without that sprint speed. The other way. Ward makes the grab. Runner tags up for third, and he moves up to third. Now two away. Next for the Orioles, Gunnar Henderson. The 1-1. One -one. That one pulled foul. You know this guy's great speed is in the back of that pitcher's mind. If he can get on, it's going to give him one more thing he's got to think about. That ball is foul, and the pressure is building. Swing and a miss, and he chases that one in the dirt. That completes the strikeout inning over. Well done behind the dish. So five innings in the books now with the no-hitter officially over. Angels four and the Orioles two. We're back, and they make a change to start the sixth. The new pitcher, CNL Perez. He has a great slider with tons of movement. So in now for the Angels, Mickey Moniak at the belt and fires. So a foul ball makes it one and two. Well, on paper, it's favorable to have a fairly quick inning here with two of the three hitters he's set to face batting from the left side, right, same side he throws from. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. And there's one down. Oh, that slider was way out of the zone. And for me, it just comes down to not seeing the pitch out of the hand, not tracking it into the zone, and then also being a little bit anxious, not confident in your two-strike approach. And so when a guy's in Ow. that position, you get him to commit early, and a lot of times you get the swing and miss, as you did right there. Well, I'm impressed with this guy's internal clock. He knew he had plenty of time to take that extra step, secure his grip on the baseball, and make a strong, accurate throw. And next for L.A., Nolan Shonwell. Two down, nobody on. Ball. And another ball. The pitch. That no. one misses. 
And now three and one. Movement in the Orioles bullpen. Mike Bauman is up and throwing for Brandon Hyde. Tate also throwing. Two outs. Swing and a ground ball out to short. Mateo sets it to first. And it's a 1 2 3 inning. Offense held a check there. 2 3 4 due up in the home half of the sixth. Angels four and the Orioles two. Back now for the bottom of the sixth. And there's a new pitcher on the mound, Adam Simber. And this is an important part of this game. Tight score and still a lot of outs to get. So they're looking for a big outing out of them right here to get some critical outs. Here's Adley Rutschman. That one the other way. Knocks it down. Safe at first. No play. We'll see how they score this. Anthony Santander, the next to hit for the Orioles. Simber is ready. Falling behind yeah. two and one. Two strikes, may see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of the double play right here. Oh, that hit him. And they get the out after the ricochet. And now the hustle out to check on him. That was quite a shot he took as you see it down on the knee. Yeah, clearly in some real pain, but he will not want to come out of this game if he doesn't have to. It's looking to me like he's going to try to shake it off and continue. Ryan O'Hearn comes up to hit. High fly ball out into left center field. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. Two away. Oh, the throw is wild. And now the center fielder, Cedric Mullins. And that's off the inside edge. Two and one. Man at second. In the air, left field. He's got it, and that'll end the inning. One left for the Orioles. Still down by a count of four to two. Welcome back. We're in the seventh. We have a new pitcher on the mound, Dylan Tate. Pretty tight game, so they're looking for quality pitches out of him right here. Got to do his best to keep the score right where it is. So in now for the Angels, Zach Neto out to short. Zips it to first, and the leadoff hitter set down to open the seventh. So the batting order turns over. Luis Rangifo now at the plate. Hit on the ground to the right side. The flip to the pitcher out. covering, and two away to start the seventh. Two outs, base is empty. Now the number two hitter, Mike Trout. Next offering is outside. And they'll do it again. There's a guy right there that really trusts his hands. I mean, you have to wait a little bit longer with the breaking ball. He did that, and he's swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes. And it's a three up, three down inning. Angels go down one, two, three. But they still lead this one four to two. We're back in a new pitcher here to start the bottom of the seventh. Luis Garcia. 
Well, the best relievers love the opportunity to come in and protect a tight lead late in the ball game. Some of them are just wired different, so we'll see what he's got here. Ryan Mountcastle getting ready to hit. And the next pitch is way outside. This is the future. Got it by him for the K. A big first down here in the seventh via the punch out. Yeah, it just does so much to change the outlook of an important inning like this. When you got the leadoff hitter, it's so critical in setting the table when you've got a tight game like this. So a strikeout really puts them on their heels. So next to hit for Baltimore, Austin Hayes. Now a high fly ball out to left center. Trout sizing it up. He's got it. And there's two down. Hey, man, four pitches, two outs. That is an excellent pace. And into the box for Baltimore, Jorge Mateo. And a pitch. Oi. Bounce to the left side. Third out. He's out. One, two, three, go the Orioles. They trail it here, four to two. And welcome back to the ballpark. Ready to begin the eighth. Now the batter now, Brandon Drury. Strike two. Here it comes. And another ball. Foul ball, another 2 2 upcoming. Righty delivers. In the air, center field. That one gets down for a hit. And the leadoff man aboard. Hitting is really easy for some guys. One thing that I can see already, his bat stays in the zone on plane for an extended period of time. And guys like that, they have a high contact rate and they have more barrels because of that bat being on plane. And even Oh, this one high and deep, way back there. In one hops off the wall, should be extra bases. Rounds third, headed for the plate. The relay, he'll score, and they take a three-run lead. Well done, drives in the run. Loud contact, leads to the double. I mean, you could tell it had extra bases written all over it as it jumped off of his stick. Anthony Rendon, the next to hit for the Angels. 1-1 one, one now. On the ground right side. A dive. Nice stop. Throws from his knees. Safe at first as they can't make the play. Well, this is unfortunate because it looked like it was going to be an awesome play. Something we see on the highlights tonight and tomorrow. But you have to applaud the effort on the stop. And if you don't take care of the throw, it goes from a wow moment to one you regret really quick. And next for the Angels, Mickey Moniak. Next offering, pop foul off to the right out of play. Traffic on the bases with one already in, and we're in the top of the eighth. Grounder might be two. Beats the second out there. Under a hurt. Two. Well, he made his pitch down in the zone. He got that ball on the ground. The double play he was looking for. Really good execution. And here's the catcher, Logan Ohapi. Oh. Pitch misses. And a count two and one. And a 
gets fouled away. The pitch. That misses the zone, and it counts four. The only adjustment he needs to make is his target. If you aim at the outside corner, that slider's going to end up way off the plate. Perhaps look a little more down the middle, and you get it right where you want it. Payoff pitch. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. That ends the inning, and they limit the damage. Angels get one on this double. It's now 5-2. It's Major League Baseball on the show. Back now, new pitcher on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth, Robert Stevenson. Here's the second baseman, Jordan Westberg. Out to short. On the run, throw to first. Low throw, and he can't take it out. Well, I definitely think the speed down the line played a factor on that throw. He had more time than he thought, but as a fielder, the speed of the game and the speed of the runner sometimes can get in your head, and he just rushed it and failed to make a clean throw. So the lineup flips over. Here's the third baseman, Gunnar Henderson. Right-handed reliever. Ball three. Three balls, one strike. Westberg gets his lead at first. Nobody out. Stevenson throws over. Back in there standing. Base runner with a one-way lead right there. All he's trying to do is get a look at the pitcher's move. Had no intent of stealing on that pitch. And now it's filled up. This is one of those situations the infielders have to pre-plan and understand that the ball's got to be hit extremely hard right at them if they're going to have a chance to go for a double play. The Angels leading by three. Here the bottom half of the eighth inning. Got him. One away. Well, that event seemed to be over as soon as it started. Three pitch strikeout. You've got to be better at the plate right there, at least to foul something off, extend that at bat. Here's the catcher to hit, Adley Rutschman. Right hander kicks deals. And a big swing and a miss. Here's a run scoring opportunity. You definitely got to push something across because it's not going to get any easier. You get to the ninth, you get a lockdown closer ready to come in. Kicks and fires. And okay. another ball. Side, and that is ball four. His ability to draw walks has been something that's been part of his career since day one. So one out with two aboard. And next for the Orioles, Anthony Santander. No, Just missed. One out. Runners at first and second. Next pitch misses way outside. Back to back breaking pitches away, you get the feeling as a hitter that the pitcher is afraid of you, that he doesn't want to challenge you. So I think the confidence level is raised right here. Is now loaded. Only one away. 
Everything came together perfectly for him right there. Solid swing from start to end. On time with everything. Really good balance. Nice extension. And he met it out front for the line drive knock. Now a huge at bat. Number 59. Not a pitch out of the pen here. Well, no margin for error in terms of throwing strikes with the bases loaded. Just has to execute one pitch at a time to try to get out of this. Ryan O'Hearn, the next to hit for the Orioles. to cut off that runner. Here's the center fielder, Cedric Mullins. Two outs. Swing and a pop-off in foul ground. Makes the play, and that's out number three. So two runs on two base hits, an error, and one left. Ninth inning coming up, Angels five, and the O's four. We're back, it's the top of the ninth, and there's a new pitcher on the mound, Mike Bauman. Power slider guy, boo. He throws it hard and gets a lot of late movement, so it's tough to pick up. And now the first baseman, Nolan Shonowell. And that one wrapped foul. 1-2 now. Good ball, eye right ball. there. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Ball. And another ball. Full count. And down on strikes he goes. And a strikeout for the first out here in the ninth. Well, just couldn't pull the trigger on the fastball right there. And I don't think he was taking it, thinking it might be a called ball or anything. I just think he was flat out frozen. Did not expect that location, in my opinion. That one drilled left field. That's back there. Out of here. And they tack one on the board. It's 6-4. A good hitter gets pitch recognition early. He saw exactly where that was going to be. The challenge, not get over anxious and come out of your swing. He stayed on it and got all of it. Back to the top of the Angels lineup. Luis Rangifo, the next to hit for the Angels. Backs and misses. It's a strikeout. Well, that's always the key to effective pitching is getting ahead in the count. And as a pitcher, it really allows you to start expanding the zone. Hitters become defensive, and all of a sudden, that plate starts to get really wide. And what happens is, because of the pressure, you end up committing to a pitch as a batter before you recognize what it is, and that's what leads to the strikeout. Here's a swing and a drive left field, and he knew it. Another homer. He's done it again. His second homer of the game, and they add a run. It's 7-4. You can see he was out front just a little bit. Maybe didn't recognize the changeup earlier, but he got the bat head to it, hooked it down the line, and was able to keep it. So a new arm out of the bullpen for the Orioles, Jacob Webb. Just trying to keep this one close here, and this is where a bullpen can give their players a chance to fight back into the game.
Next is the designated hitter, Brandon Drury. Two down, nobody on. No question about this one, it's out of here. They go back to back, and they boost their lead. It's 8-4. A little more breathing room is always a good thing in baseball, and now they have it. Back-to-back -back homers, always a special feeling at the ballpark, especially if it's your team that does it, and those guys get to slap hands at home plate. This is the kind of thing that can really fire up a ball club. Now, here is Taylor Ward. The 1-1 one, one is fouled off. And a pop-up, right side, foul territory. And that is that. Now at Oriole Park, bottom of the ninth. And now here is Ryan Mountcastle. And he deals. Gets him to chase after that one. One, two. One, two, wouldn't Your chase team. that time. Two, two down. Hold and down. another ball. Liner snagged it first. It's never fun going back to the dugout after hitting the line drive that finds a glove, but you will get some high fives. You know, when you make great contact, you feel like you've done everything right. But in this game of baseball, not everything is in your control. He's two outs away. Austin Hayes, the next to hit for the Orioles. So a foul ball makes it one and two. Right-hander deals. Swings and blasts one deep to left center. That's back there. And that one hops the wall. Hayes into second, and he's got a double. He was all over that one. Pretty much just a textbook double into the gap. And when you can drop one in there between the outfielders, you know you're making the turn at first. Just an excellent swing. Shortstop, Jorge Mateo. And it's second. Swing and a miss. One ball, two strikes. Two strikes. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. He's really good hitting the baseball the other way. So credit the pitcher for having him out in front of that pitch. Clearly he had him fooled. So they're down to their final out. Now it's the second baseman, Jordan Westberg. Popped up. And it drops in. Here's the throw to the plate. But it's offline. 
Well done. Narrows the deficit with the RBI there. There are a lot of nicknames people have attached to hits like that. Blooper, flare, duck score, lawn dart, etc. But whatever you want to call it, it's a knock. And those are the ones that will make you smile as a hitter. New arm out of the bullpen, Carlos Estevez. And I can't imagine any save is an easy one. You're holding a small lead on the scoreboard, and you know those hitters are going to give you the best at bats they can. So it's always high stress. Let's see what he's got here to try and close it out. Now the third baseman, Gunnar Henderson. You won. In the dirt. And the runner stays where he is. Deals. Swings through that. Well, when those hitters count Move sometimes, it can be a little too aggressive, and a good pitcher will play off of that. He's got to get a better pitch to hit. One strike away. Oh. Little chase that time. Pressure oh, Mountain right here with the tying run in the on deck circle. He's got to find the strike zone. Two outs. So now oh, two on and two outs. Not what he wanted to do there, but that keeps this inning alive and gives this offense a good chance to cut into their deficit. And now Adley Rutschman. Tying run at the plate. Lifted in the air down the left side. And a ball for a base hit. Row comes into third. And he's in there. A run comes in on the play. Well, he gets it done in a big spot to get the run across. Takes an inside pitch and just lays it over there to left field. And that's all he had to do is get up to the outfield grass to push that run across. Now that sets up a huge at bat in this ballgame. Orioles and out away. Now it's the switch hitting outfielder, Anthony Santander. And another ball. This is the guy they turn to to get the most important outs of the ball game, but. They're going to make him work to get this save. Swings and sends a rocket to right. That's the ball game. Well, this was a total team effort using six pitchers in this ball game to get the win. Outstanding job of passing the baton. The next pitcher stepping up and getting it done. You got to give him a lot of credit because this is not easy to do. We'll see how it affects them over the next couple of days. Final score of eight to six in this one for Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB The Show. Thanks for stopping by. I'm John Schumann. Talk to you soon.